Hi guys. Um, I wanted to uh, let you guys know something. I keep forgetting to tell you guys about it. Um, I've had some friends that have contacted me and were real concerned about my uh, new lifestyle. And um, may, basically their concern is because I'm not eating uh, meat. And um, I, well, I rarely eat meat once in a while. And um, I rarely do dairy. Now, I'm a cheese girl. I love cheese. I mean, I really, I'm a cheese, you know. Um, I'm the big cheese, actually. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Um, but uh, after doing, after starting juicing and learning about all the uh, hormones and additives and all these things being put into dairy, and what they're doing to cows and how most of you know most of the meat you know has hormones and all this really creepy scary stuff and um like with the cows you know they're not meant to milk year after year you know they have a calf they nurse them until you know they're old enough to stop nursing and so they're milking these cows and, you know, these cows are being overworked and their udders get sore and then they get infected. So they're giving them antibiotics and hormones and all these things and they're getting pus in the milk and that's just disgusting. And they're treating these animals just poorly. And so learning a lot of this stuff um, along my journey, you know, I, it grossed me out and it made me feel really bad. And so I made the choice that I wasn't going to partake and eat of dairy or meat unless I knew it was organic, um, certified 100% organic. And even at that, sometimes it's hard to know because you don't know if the store is being honest. <clears throat> um, so usually if I do eat something, it's, uh, like shrimp. Um, and even at that, I don't do that a whole lot, but, um, you know, my friend, my friends were concerned. And so I went and uh, had my doctor do a, a complete blood workup panel thingy majiggy. And, um, I was, uh, pretty excited because I, one of my biggest concerns was not having enough B12. And um, cons what this paperwork is telling me is the normal range is 211 to 946. And I'm at 331. So um, I that tickled me to death. I was so excited. And so I'm going through all this. My folic acid is really good. And uh, most of the things in here are just, I mean, they're all really good. Some of them are, I mean, right perfect in the middle. And so I wanted to tell everybody how good that is and how um, if people give you crap and uh, tell you, oh my gosh, juicing's bad or becoming vegetarian is bad. Um, no, you know, you just need to research. If you're going to change your lifestyle, just research about it. Um, find out what fruits and vegetables are really good. Um, I mean, they're all really good, but find out which ones are high in certain proteins and vitamins and eat those ones a lot. Greens are awesome for you. And so is citrus. And so, um, you know, I mean, just, you know, don't let it bug you if people harass you or tease you or make fun of you. They just don't know and give them a big old hug and say, thank you for worrying about me. And, um, you know, let them know that, uh, what you learned and that's the best way to do it. You know, um, give love and, and, uh, educate your friends and coworkers and family, you know, cause how would they know, how would they know that they don't want to do it unless they know that it's okay for you. Um, so, <laughs> I uh, had an experience um, a while back um, in February, 
and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background. I, since I was a little girl, have loved Doc Brown from Back to the Future. He was one of my first loves, my first scientist crush, and um, I've just, oh my gosh, I loved him, loved him, loved him. And um, before I started my juicing, um, things were really bad at home, and um, my kids and I, we watched Doctor Who and Back to the Future a lot. And in Back to the Future, Christopher Lloyd, as Doc Brown, says, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. And I took that to heart, you know. Um, I, I made up my mind that I was going to make my children's life better and my life better. And um, I was going to do it. There was not going to be any stopping me. And um, I always dreamed about meeting Christopher Lloyd. And um, always just, you know, was trying to find what convention he was going to be at. So that way maybe someday I could save up enough money and go meet him. And um, as I started my going through my juicing and um, bettering... Sorry, I'm getting all tongue-tied. Um, as I was learning about nutrition and um, making my health better, and um, I uh, I just wanted to meet him so bad and tell him how much he meant to me. And um, I just wanted him to know that, you know, his portrayal of Doc Emmett Brown and that quote helped me get to where I'm at. And um, I have, you know, some mentors and, um, you know, uh, Christopher Lloyd is one of my heroes. And um, so, you know, I do have a few people to thank, you know, uh, that have m inspired me or meant something to me. And he is one of the biggest. And so, um, one thing would happen and I would end up hearing about him being somewhere too late and wasn't able to save up enough money to get there. And, um, you know, so it, it was just kind of a bummer. And then a friend of mine was, told me that Christopher Lloyd was going to be in Dallas. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I wish, wish so much I could get there. And um, I had some really amazing, thoughtful, caring friends that wanted me to make that dream come true. And they all pitched in money to help me get to Dallas. And um, they may not realize how much that meant to me, but um, they helped me make my dream come true. And um, I got to meet him <laughs> and uh, my friend Clara had has family that lives in Dallas and she uh, lived about she lives about six hours away from where the convention was um, being held and so she was like you know come out here girl you know I'm gonna show you a great Texas time and my family you know said we could stay there and and it was just so amazing. And um, so I was so nervous. <laughs> and I um, I flew out there and um, I got Christopher Lloyd a Valentine card. And I wrote down as much as I could without trying to sound like a crazy creepo stalker person. And um, told him how much he meant to me. And I put it all in the card because I was so worried that during the autograph lines, they really rush you through those. And so I was afraid I wouldn't have much of a chance to really tell him anything and let him know. I mean, I really wanted him to know um, what what I was feeling. And so I am, um, I'm such a nerd. So I uh, 
wrote wrote this card all out, put a couple of pictures in there, and I um, am guilty. I put my email address and my phone number as if hoping that he would actually get to look at the card and um, really read it. And uh, putting <laughs> my email and phone number in there was probably a little extreme and over the top. But hey, a girl can try, you know? Um, so I, uh, you know, we're standing in line and I had bought a package to get my photo taken with him. And um, so standing in line waiting, I met some, um, some people and I met this woman and her little girl who was one of the cutest Christopher Lloyd fans ever. And she loved Doc Brown almost as much as I do, except for the wishing he was her boyfriend part. She thought that was gross and icky. And um, <laughs> um, so they had told me to go ahead and stand in, fr stand in front of them in line. So that way, if they tried to rush, that they would say, oh, no, we're not in a hurry. It's okay. And they were so sweet. And so <clears throat> I get into the room where they're taking the photos. And I had two photo ops. So um, I get in. I hand the girl my ticket. And she's like, this is for two photos. Do you want your money back? And I'm like, no, I don't want my money back. I want two pictures. You know, I mean, I love him. So, um, she's like, we have two photos here really loud. And, and this, uh, the camera guy kind of looked weird. And I don't know why that was such an odd thing. You know, I mean, it, I wanted two pictures. <laughs> and so, um, I see Christopher Lloyd right around this curtain thing and my heart just, oh my gosh, I thought I was going to die. And I kept hearing that Eminem song in my head. You only get one shot. Is that how that goes, Xander? He's not saying anything. Hi, Xander. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Um, so I hear this song in my head and I'm like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I, I gotta do something. So immediately I, I didn't even give him a chance to say hi, shake my hand, nothing. I went up to him and right away I just threw my arms around him like so tight and um, like around his neck and just held on to him. And he's doing this cute, cute, cute little laugh and he puts his arms around me all low and gives me this hug and I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh this is the best hug ever in the whole universe and I didn't want out of that hug but I was so worried that I was taking up too much time and so I kind of like let go and um I looked up at him and I was like can I have a kiss and I did not think for a minute that he would do it and so he's leaning in and I am such a dork. I turn my head. And so he kisses me right on my cheek and I could have had a real kiss. And I'm like, oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? And then I'm like, I should be so thankful that I got a hug and a kiss on my cheek. But I was like, oh my gosh, my lips could have been touching his lips. <laughs> and and I was just, oh my gosh, I was in heaven. I was like freaking out. And so I, you know, do, we do our photos and um, I go out in the hall to find my friend Clara and tell her, you know, I'm like, oh my God, he kissed my cheek, he kissed my cheek. And I'm like telling everybody in the hall, people who didn't even know me, I'm like, oh my God, he kissed me, he kissed me, he kissed my cheek. And I'm like trying to call you know, my friend, my friends, and, um, I was trying to call my mom, nobody answers, and I'm just like, oh, why isn't anybody answering? So, um, I'm, like, all hot and flush, and I just keep holding my cheek, and, um, the little girl and her mom come out, and the mom was like, oh my gosh, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. She's like, why wasn't I videotaping that? 
and the little girl goes, ooh, he gave you a boyfriend hug. And I'm like, oh my god, he sure did. <laughs> and I'm like, that was the best hug ever. And then these people, uh, a couple of groups of people came out and they're like, how did you get him to do that? That was awesome. And I'm like, I don't know, I just asked. And, um, and so I was just like, oh my gosh, I was in cloud, in the clouds, seriously. And, um, so later on is when we went to, um, his autograph line and I gave him the Valentine's card and, um, I quickly started just spilling things out and I was just so nervous and I should have took my time because I was, but I, I was so afraid of holding people up and making people upset and, and, um, he, Christopher grabs my hands and um, he tells me, thank you, my dear. Thank you very much. And um, I'm like, oh, my God, he's holding my hands. Oh, my gosh. And um, I uh, show him my tattoo because I have a tattoo of him. And, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, him and his manager seemed, um, seemed pretty surprised at that. And, um, I, uh, give him the card and, um, I back up and I'm like, <laughs> I'm seriously a dork. I'm like walking backwards and I'm like, I love you. <laughs> and I'm like, he probably thinks I'm the biggest nut ever. And him and his manager just, you know, they do this laugh and he did, Christopher does, did the cutest laugh. Oh my gosh. And so, um, the rest of the weekend, people, they, for some reason, they duplicated my photo. So I had already grabbed my photo, but they had made another one. So it was up on the autograph or the photo table and people kept coming up to me all weekend saying, oh my gosh, I loved your picture. Cause I was wearing this kitty hat. And so, and I wore it the whole weekend. So i it was pretty easy to know who I was from the picture and they kept telling me how much they loved it. And, um, uh, I, um, <laughs> I, um, was outside with my friend Clara and she was on the phone. And so I was out there waiting with her and this girl and her friend come outside and they're like, Hey, um, you have an extra picture, you have a picture upstairs. And, um, I said, Oh really? You know, that's, uh, you know, crazy. And, um, uh, anyways, they, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, um, getting lost in my, uh, thoughts here of Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> anyways, he, uh, the girl tells me, um, are you the girl that he was talking about in the Q and a? And I was like, what? Cause we were outside. So we didn't make it up to the Q and a in time. And we were up, we had a few minutes left to get up there. And as we were right, getting right up to the stairs, they announced that the Q and a is full. And Oh my God. I was like, no, Oh no, I can't believe we missed it. And, um, she tells me that they asked him and they asked um, him and the other cast members about memorable moments from doing conventions and meeting fans. And um, he mentioned me and um, that just totally made me cry. I could not help it. And um, I was like, Oh my gosh, I was not, I, was there to get to see that. And so, um, I had some friends, uh, I had some friends look up on the internet and they ended up finding that section, um, <clears throat> of, uh, the Q and a where he mentioned meeting me. And, um, I, I just, Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you guys how much that meant to me. And, um, I adore him and I'm always going to be one of his, his most devoted fans. And, um, 
I'm such a dork because sometimes I think, oh, poor Christopher Lloyd, he's single and he needs, um, he needs a kitten in his life. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I was like, I would be his best assistant ever. You know, I would clean his bathtub and fold his clothes and run his errands. Anything he wanted, I would take care of him. And I'd make him juice. And, um, and so I thought after that meeting, I uh, would get it out of my system. But I have this dream where I want a date with Christopher Lloyd. And, um... I want to take him out on a date. That will probably never get to happen. <laughs> but, um, I, uh, I don't even care what it is we would do. I just would love to be able to hang out with him. And, um, you know, just, uh, have one date. <laughs> and, um, so I don't know how that I can make that happen. But I'm going to keep dreaming about it and keep hoping about it. And maybe somehow, some way, he will get wind of uh, me um, wanting to take him out on a date. I know I keep saying that, huh? Take him out on a date. Date, date, date. I want to take him out on a date. I would be so speechless. It would probably be the worst date ever because I wouldn't know what to say or I would talk too much nonsense because I'd be so nervous. But, um, but yeah, so maybe it'll happen one day. Who knows? I never ever thought I would get to meet him, much less get a boyfriend style hug and a kiss on the cheek. And, um, so... If anybody knows Christopher Lloyd out there, who's a personal friend of his, or coworker, anything, <laughs> I'm really hoping that once I reach my goal weight, um, about another 43 pounds, I, I was debating between 43 and 50 pounds, and I was hoping once I reached my goal um, that I you know, could take him out on a date. I'm trying to tone up and look all awesome because, you know, I would like to be the cutest date he's ever had, but um, I don't really even know what his type is. So um, he might not like girls with tattoos, so it's really hard to say. <laughs> but um, you never know, right? So... Um, I don't know. That's my goal weight. Um, once I reach that, I'll have lost 280 pounds. And um, I've had some friends, um, you know, they're like, no, don't lose any more weight. You're perfect the way you are. But I, um, I set a goal and I want to meet it. And if I think it's too thin, then I'll just put a little bit of weight back on. I'm toning up, working out with weights, and that'll help. So, um, hopefully somebody out there can help me get a date with Christopher Lloyd and, um, I'll be the super fly date and, um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, uh, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It was one of the best moments ever in my whole life and, um, I will, uh, always be grateful to my friends who helped me, and, um, I love you guys very much, and, um, <laughs> I love you too, Christopher Lloyd, and, um, I'm such a nerd, really, I am, and I'm surprised my son back there <laughs> hasn't got in here and, uh, said anything, probably because I'm crying, <laughs> There's Una. Una! Look, Una, you're on camera. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. My nose is all running and I need tissue. And, um, yeah, and I'm all, I've already talked, like, almost 25 minutes. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, 
But yeah, I hope everyone's having a really good night and uh, it's getting late and my son and I have a Doctor Who date. So we didn't get to watch the last episode over the weekend together. So we have some doctor to visit. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well and I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.